Welcome back to Only Talk Sports. So we talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm your host, Jeffrey. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Dennis Gates has done it again for the Missouri Tigers. Caleb Grill, the former Iowa State guard, he's a veteran in the transfer portal, has decided to transfer to the Missouri Tigers. I'm going to go over how important I think Caleb Grill will be for Missouri next season and how much I think Missouri could improve in the SEC because of it. Now, looking at Caleb Grill, he is a veteran transfer portal guard. He's been in college basketball for four seasons and he was really solid for Iowa State last year. He averaged nine and a half points per game, four rebounds, and 1.4 assists. And he only shot 39.3% from the field, 36.8% from the three-point line, and 76.9% from the free throw line. He's definitely a pretty solid free throw shooter and he is a guy that shoots a pretty good percentage from three, but his overall field goal percentage is a bit weak. I think that he definitely is a player that struggles to get shots in the paint, but he is a good shooter and when he is on on. He is one of the better shooters in college basketball, but the way he left Iowa State is really interesting. He was dismissed from the basketball team, and I don't know if that's going to affect his time at Missouri on whether he's going to be able to have a lot of success or whether he's not going to get in trouble again. If that's the reason that he was dismissed off the Iowa State basketball team, maybe it had to do with something else. Maybe it was school related. Who knows? We have no idea, but as long as nothing like that comes up with Caleb Grill at Missouri, then this is a great addition for the Missouri Tigers because Dennis Gates. He had a really good first season for Missouri. They really turned it around and he got them to the NCAA tournament as a seven seed and they were one of the top teams in the SEC. They were in the top half and Missouri also won a game in the NCAA tournament. Yes, they did lose in the round of 32 to the Princeton Tigers, but still Missouri is definitely in a much better place now with Dennis Gates than they were under Quanzo Martin and the previous coaching staff. They were toward the bottom of the SEC most years. Dennis Gates is doing some solid things and now some players are definitely seeing seeing what's going on with Missouri and they're definitely wanting to go play for Dennis Gates. And looking at Caleb Girl, he definitely fills a need for Missouri. They need more shooting. They were a team that could make threes last year, but I think Caleb Girl definitely fills a role that Missouri desperately needed this past season, shooting the three ball. And they also got another transfer portal player already that I talked about a few videos ago. Tamar Bates, a transfer guard from Indiana, is also committing to Missouri as well through the transfer portal. And he's a really good three-point shooter as well. He shot 37.4% from the three-point line this past season for Indiana. I think both Tamar Bates and Caleb Grill are both players that do struggle a bit inside the arc, but they are both really good free throw shooters. They're both capable three-point shooters. And I think they could both play next to each other in the starting lineup for Missouri if Dennis Gates chooses to have both of them in the starting lineup. If Dennis Gates does not want to bring one of them off the bench, I think that could work as well. But getting Caleb Grill and Tamar Bates is huge for Dennis Gates because a lot of other programs were looking at both of these players. Caleb Grill is a veteran transfer portal guard. Yes, he only has one year of eligibility left, but that's not a bad thing. Sometimes only having a guy with one year of eligibility left, even though you're not going to be able to have him for a long time, maybe be able to integrate into your system at the fullest extent. Caleb Grill is going to be a guy that can come in, immediately plug in and play, have a lot of success at Missouri, and then be gone for the next recruiting class for Dennis Gates to be able to bring in some high school players at that position, or be able to develop some of the guys behind Caleb Grill, or you could also bring in some more transfer portal players. So I think sometimes the guys with one year of eligibility works, and Caleb Grill is a really experienced player, so he's definitely going to bring a veteran presence to this basketball team, and it definitely raises the floor and ceiling for Missouri next year in the SEC to potentially be a top half team in the SEC yet again and who knows maybe a team that could go far in March Madness if all the right pieces come together because you also have a good recruiting class coming in for Dennis Gates. They have Trent Pierce, Jordan Butler, and Anthony Robinson, a three-man recruiting class, two four-star guards. So Dennis Gates is already recruiting better than most head coaches have at Missouri. Yes, Missouri's in the SEC and it is a recruiting hotbed so I do think that helps in a way for Dennis Gates and I think that NIL seems to be doing a decent job with Missouri overall in the fact that they're landing all these players. But Dennis Gates, he still has to be a great personality, and he's definitely all the vibes I've been hearing from everybody talking about Dennis Gates. He seems to be doing all the right things, pushing all the right buttons with players and fans, and things are really trending in the right direction for Missouri. And if they can get Kobe Brown back, their star player from last season from the NBA draft, if he does not go pro, then Missouri could be really good next season. Because then you're going to have Caleb Grill and Tamar Bates through the transfer pool. Kobe Brown, their leading scorer from last season, back. And they're also getting Isaiah Mosley and Noah Carter back as well. Two really
really good players that both average around nine points per game. Losing Demoy Hodge and DeAndre Golston is really tough. They're out of eligibility, but I don't think that's the biggest loss in the world. When you look at the rest of the roster, there is enough there for Dennis Gates to have success with Missouri, and they're also bringing in John Tanji, a Colorado State transfer also. So it looks like Dennis Gates is really retooling this roster and bringing in a lot of guys that could have a lot of success next season. And Dennis Gates might not be done yet. The transfer portal, it has been crazy. There have been so many impact players in the portal, and it's nowhere near done yet. Probably there will be two or three more weeks of a lot of portal additions being added to all the college basketball teams around the country. And I think Dennis Gates is in a great position to be able to bring in another veteran or two through the portal, potentially, if players want to come because of the fact of what he's already done. He's building a team that definitely has the look of an NCAA tournament team. So players are definitely going to want to play for Missouri when you look at the rest of this roster and you say, this is definitely a team that could do some special things next year. And I want to be a part of it. The fan base is getting back engaged for Missouri. Everything is trending back in the right direction for the Missouri Tigers. And getting Caleb Grill from the Iowa State Cyclones is a huge addition. All Caleb Grill has to do is not have any other issues like he did to Iowa State, how he got dismissed from the team. We do not know, but if he has no issues in that front, then I think Caleb Grill is a great addition for Missouri. He's definitely a veteran presence. That should be able to be a great three-point shooter next season overall. He'll definitely be a guy that's not going to cause you any problems on the floor being a guy that is a high usage guy that demands the ball in his hands. He's more of an off-the-ball scorer. He's definitely a guy that can come off ball screen, so you can definitely draw up a lot of plays for him. So I think Missouri's going to be great in that front. And he is a guy that can play next to shooters. He played next to Gabe Kalsher at Iowa State and other shooters that they had on the team. So getting Tamar Bates as well is not a conflict of interest. Both of these guys can play on the floor at the same time. They both fill roles that Missouri needed three-point shooting, and now Dennis Gates has a lot to be able to employ on the roster next season. And if they can get Kobe Brown back, then I think that Missouri could be one of the best teams in the SEC next season. Even though you do have Alabama, Arkansas, Auburn, Kentucky, and some of these other teams that are looking really good next season in the SEC, I could definitely see Missouri being a top five to six team in the SEC if they can get all of these pieces to come together. But Caleb Grill is a great addition for Dennis Gates. Dennis Gates has done it again. He's doing a fantastic job in the transfer pool. He's doing a really good job recruiting. He's bringing a lot of talent in. And if Caleb Grill a really good season next year for Missouri, averaging around 10 points per game, shooting 36 to 37 percent from three, a really good percentage from the free throw line. He's a great team player for Missouri next season. This is a great addition for Missouri that definitely will improve the team next season. And Dennis Gates is doing a fantastic job in the transfer portal, and we'll have to see what he's able to do next. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Like this video down below. Comment down below what you think about Caleb Girl transferring from Iowa State to Missouri, and how much you think Caleb Girl will be able to improve the Missouri team next season, and how good of a job you think Dennis. Gates is doing in the transfer portal this offseason for Missouri. Follow me on Twitter as well. Link is in the description and I will see you next time.